There you go. I know, I've talked a lot, so this will be really fast. <laughs> I'm like my father, I write these on the way. Just kidding. Okay. Um, hi, I'm Kim's sister. I've known her longer. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so last night at the dress rehearsal, all of Kim's friends told a bunch of stories about Kim. I couldn't think of anything because I was still in shock of all the things that we were saying about Kim. <laughs> uh, so I, I was thinking this morning uh, about some stories when we were kids, and in case you didn't know, Kim and I are a little bit different, a little bit opposite, and um, she used to always, I when I was a kid, when we were kids, I would always like to play teacher or banker or ad agency, and Kim would play house or house or house. And, um, she used to like to play the handicapped kid, so we would all have to carry her everywhere. And she was a very trusting child, just as she is today, because you would see the little neighbor kids knees buckling on cement driveways as we carried her in this limp. I don't know where you ever learned this, but it was funny. Anyway, we enjoyed that. And uh, she also liked to uh, beg mom to buy uh, real baby clothes and diapers for her dolls and her sock monkey, and she cut the little hole out of the back of the diaper so the little monkey tail would fit out the back. And uh, she even had this little green Kermit the Frog bean bag, and you know, they don't make clothes this big, so she diaper him up in a Kleenex, and this is diaper, and then she put him in his car seat, which was a little Kellogg's variety pack cereal box with his sock that it got out. And of course, the whole time I'm like, oh my god, you know, because I would just throw them out the window and just to watch her cry. And just... <laughs> I did, I did. And my mother used to say, you know, someday you will appreciate the fact that you had a sister and you'll be sorry that you treated her that way. And I'm the younger one, and so um, my mom was right. I do appreciate her, and, and I got to live with her a couple years ago. No, we still fought then too, never mind. <laughs> But I did want to just say sorry for a couple things. That I, that I'm sorry I hit you over the head with binoculars and I scratched you till you bled. And um, for stuff, throwing your stuffed animals out the window and um, telling you that dad liked me best, but that it was okay because mom liked you better. And I'm sorry, mom, because I know that always hurt your feelings too. But it's okay. Um, I'm sorry I, I told you that you were the one that lost that really cool onyx ring that dad got you from Hawaii. I actually lost it when I snuck out of the house to TP one of the neighbors and it slung off my hand when I threw the toilet paper in the air. And, uh, <laughs> I felt really bad, so I made everybody that was helping me TP get down their hands and knees and look for it. We couldn't find it, so we went back the next day and got in trouble because then they knew we TP'd them because we're in the neighborhood looking for the ring. I never could find it. So I owe you one onyx ring from Hawaii. But maybe you can find one right there. I mean, Yeah, I know. I was oh no, in the best one. We're really sorry all the times we'd go, hey Kim, look, and she'd look and we'd steal all the food off her plate. We'd do that four or five times a meal. <laughs> she never caught us. It was cute. So, anyway, so then I one last little story. Kim and I get a good laugh once in a while because we get together and we get to mom's house and we're cleaning out the basement because we still have a lot of stuff in the basement that she'd like for us to get out. It'll be in your basement now. Um, but we get this box out, there's all these cards that we wrote, you know, Happy Mom's Day or, or Merry Christmas and they're handwritten creative notes. And we laugh till we cry because they always have this ring of coffee on them because mom would put them on the coffee table on the nice day and she'd go back to her coffee and her crossword puzzle. And you don't put your coffee on the coffee table, you set it on paper, so always the card that we would write would be right there. So we made this joke that really that coffee ring was mom's seal of approval. And when you guys left the church today, you forgot your marriage certificate, so I picked it up, and I just want you to know that I noticed there's a coffee ring on it. So Kim, I, I think you've got the mom's 
seal of approval. <laughs> we love having you in the family. Is he ready? Where is he? But he's up here.